Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you how to make a delicious barbacoa in this slow cooker. So in case you guys want to know how to make this super easy and delicious recipe, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Okay, so we're going to begin by making our garlic paste. In my mocajete, I'm going to be smashing down a small piece of onion, along with five garlic cloves. Just mash it down until you have a smooth paste. Okay, so once we have our paste, we're going to be smashing down two bay leaves, 10 allspice berry, and a half a teaspoon of whole cumin seeds. Just begin to smash it down and mix it with the paste. Okay, so once we have that, now we are ready to mix it in with our meat. Okay, so I'm going to be lining my slow cooker with a slow cooker liner. I already have it set up. And I'm going to be using four pounds of cachete, beef cheeks. Just going to put it in my slow cooker. Going to be adding the paste. I'm going to be adding one cup of water. So make sure you rinse the molcajete. And to that, we're also going to be adding two teaspoons of oregano, two teaspoons of thyme, one teaspoon of margarine, one tablespoon of black pepper, and salt. I'm using two tablespoons. Okay, so just make sure that you rub the meat. Okay, so we are also going to be using eight whole cloves. So because we don't want them to get lost in the mix, I'm going to be using a little piece of onion and just kind of place them in there. Just like that. Okay, so just throw it in there, along with two bay leaves, half of an onion, and some fresh oregano. So I'm just going to close the liner. Okay, so we're going to cover it and allow that to cook between four to six hours on high heat. Alrighty guys, so it's been six hours since that meat has been cooking, so we're just going to check it and see how it's going. So just be very careful. And let me tell you that it smells delicious. So just check your meat. It's super tender, look at that. So our meat is done. So at this point we can get our salsa and all of our ingredients ready to make our tacos. Okay, so we're going to begin by roasting 12 tomatillos. So once they begin to change color, flip them over to the other side and allow the other side to get nice and charred. Okay, so once the tomatillos have changed color, they are ready, so we're going to remove them from the comal. And now we're going to roast a piece of onion and one garlic clove. So just allow the onion to get softened. Okay, so once the onion has softened, we're going to remove it from the comal, along with the garlic clove. And now we're going to toast one guajillo pepper, along with chile de árbol. I'm using 20, but of course it's all going to depend on how spicy you want your salsa. And just toast them for about 30 seconds. Make sure that you don't burn them. Okay, and once they're done, we're going to transfer them to hot water. And just allow them to soak for five minutes. Okay, and after five minutes, we can make our salsa. Okay, we're going to begin by transferring our chiles to our blender cup. Along with salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, and a pinch of cumin seeds. And we're going to be blending with a little bit of water. Half a cup. So just blend until everything has been crushed. Okay, and once done, we're going to be adding our garlic clove, the onion, and tomatillos. And just continue blending. And just like that, we have our salsa. Okay, transfer it to your container. Taste it for salt and adjust it if needed. And just like that, we have our salsa. 
Alrighty guys, and once we have our salsa, cilantro, and onion all ready, now we can get ready for the fun part. And of course, you want to taste it for salt and see if you want to adjust it. So I'm just going to grab it. Okay. Alrighty guys, so now we can get ready to enjoy. Alrighty guys, so now we can get ready for the fun part, topping our tacos. So I'm just going to squeeze a little lime juice, add a little onion, cilantro, and of course, our delicious salsa. And just like that, now we can get ready to enjoy. <laughs> Alrighty guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. Now let me tell you guys that I hope you give this recipe a try. It's seriously super delicious. And the best part is that it is super easy, um, especially if you're busy, that slow cooker is just going to be your best friend. So I hope you give this recipe a try and enjoy it just as much. Cheers and enjoy. Mm. Not only is the meat so tender, but it is so flavorful. And of course the salsa, the cherry on top, so good. Alrighty guys, and there you have it, how to make a delicious barbacoa in this slow cooker. I hope you guys are enjoying watching this video, and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Share with your friends and family, and if you recreate this recipe, please don't forget to tag me in any of my social medias. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.